you do not get credit for your work why because nobody knows what you do people who believe that it's okay to be silent and it's enough to just finish the work number 1 you do not get credit for your work why because nobody knows what you do people who believe that it's okay to be silent and it's enough to just finish the work and submit it to whomsoever you are required to submit that's enough and that work will speak itself while it may if your manager is some god sent person then he or she can clearly see what you are up to but in most cases it's not let's understand it from the help of one example there is a very important task that is given in a team and two people are doing that task one is a silent employee and another employee is very vocal just by nature it's not that either of the employee is trying to pretend something no they both are in their zone one just likes to be silent and the other one is quite vocal now the vocal employee just do like 20 25% of the task and remaining 75% of the task tedious task is done by the silent employee and then let's say that particular project runs weekly meeting over zoom call or teams call whatever you may say and an important person from the management happen to be on the call in any of the week just let's assume and as usual the vocal employee speaks a lot about the project the details and everything and this time that silent person goes even more silent because he or she might be terrified of the fact that there's an important person on the call so then what happens that important person who's from the management will have an impression that most of the work is done by this vocal employee and if not if not most of the work then this vocal employee knows it all have all the details have all the answers and then if any opportunity strikes further um, which is related to this project it's no brainer who will get it right so that's how things work it's not like that vocal employee is trying to gain all the limelight it can be just by nature so it's very important my friend that you speak enough about the work that you do at least people around you should know what you do and how much of that you do and the second thing on the list which silent employees usually face is quite funny and what it is silent employees ends up getting a lot of blames at their name for no reason for no evident reason and it's really funny because they might even not know they might not be even aware that there are so many stories floating around in office on their names why because they never speak to anybody or open up to anybody about anything about the work or which is not related to work whatsoever so again it's human nature the scene goes like this say for example you did a terrible mistake and you know that if your manager finds out that you did this mistake then your career is at stake now what will you do the first thing that will come to your mind is that you brush off this blame to somebody else i mean you put it on somebody else's name and on whose name you will try to put it what is that first name that will come to your mind when you are in that struggle and you're anxious and you just want to save your job whose name will come to your mind obviously the name of a person who seems to be the most harmless and who is mostly the harmless person the person who speaks less in the team and who never clarifies to the manager to the team member even if they are asked any question so so you see how unknowingly lot many times we as human tend to do such things and it impacts a person who speaks less basically so it's very important that all my dear silent employees that you open up in your teams you talk you speak and if there is any issue uh, which is reported to you and you hear any rumor any thing negative about you then clarify it then and there so that people do not take you for granted so that nobody can use your name like that to brush off their blames now the next fact on the list may break your heart a little further and it is that silent employees not always get the best of the money why because they just believe in working in silos and their manager just assumes that you are okay with whatever is given to you and you also do not think that you need a raise because if you thought so you would have communicated showed some sign and or maybe would have raised some objection on the last raise that you got last hike that you got but because you have such a nature and you do not raise any objection then your manager just assumes that you are okay with whatever is being given and who wouldn't do that i mean one of the task of a manager is to make sure that the work gets done in the 
least possible cost so it's their job guys <laughs> do not hate them for that it's their job and if they see an opportunity and if everything is working fine nobody is making noise they are not going to give the raise to be very honest so if you really want to maximize your salary then you have to negotiate if you're not happy with the numbers that are given to you you must negotiate you must brainstorm what went wrong where you did not meet the expectation what happened all of that if you do not make that noise nobody is going to give you the money that you deserve or you expect basically and the next fact on the list is related to growth people who work quite silently they do not get called for the opportunities like all the time this i can confirm you as a hr because uh people who decide about these opportunities they again assume because you have a silent nature they just assume you do not like much opportunities or you do not like change you do not like to be in a new environment and for god's sake if they sent you to a new client and you do not speak they are worried what will happen to the project so they obviously sideline every single silent employee from that opportunity list and they give it to someone whom they perceive as someone who can communicate well and who can handle the scenarios when the scenarios present themselves with a client or in whatever situation so at this point it may sound like everybody is being biased towards the silent employee and it's kind of politics they are playing games and all it's not like that guys it may sound like that but it's an unconscious bias i would say which everybody goes through i mean even even if you have a choice for a very critical project you yourself will not send somebody whom you have never seen communicating enough because it's an important bet for you as well so you want to play your best card and everybody does that if you want growth then you will have to put some effort to show that you got what is required for that opportunity if you do not show it you do not mention it you do not talk about it then i'm not sure if you can blame anyone for that because come on everybody believes what they see that's how the world and everything around us works the next situation on the list in which silent people get into is that often people around them misjudge them for having a bad communication skill now the reality can be that that person just do not like to talk much that's all or is not very interactive but people associate it with bad communication skill and it will impact their growth further in the company why because once you hit a level say for example you joined as a programmer and you reached a senior stage for your individual contributor role and you performed really well now there's a next step of being a lead or manager or senior manager whatever if you have a very silent nature it's very likely that that you'll not be selected for those roles why because on those roles communication and speaking up is very important especially speaking up for right things and at the right time you cannot afford to miss the timing because there are a lot of important decisions that are time bound you have to speak up you have to take care of things events within that time frame or maybe uh, a situation that suddenly comes and you have to act on it then and there and if you have a nature where you want to go back in your silo zone and you you want to think through first you want to process it first and then maybe if you feel like you will speak to people involved it doesn't happen like that in higher roles so if you are someone who do not like to talk much and you are expecting growth in uh, those levels then i would say please open up or start speaking to your team members show leadership leadership is all about taking the lead taking the first step and if you cannot take that first step in a conversation then i'm not sure how far you can go so you will have to work on those skills first before you expect a growth on those levels and if that is not the case and you are totally comfortable taking the lead talking first in any kind of conversation taking the decision and everything of that sort but for some reason in the past you have not displayed that behavior much then please go ahead and start on displaying that behavior that you're comfortable doing all of that stuff because because otherwise people will just assume what they see and you will miss out on a very big opportunity someday and the last point on the list quite summarize everything pretty well and it is that your manager will assume that everything is going pretty well for you you are totally satisfied with the tasks that are given to you the projects uh, on which you are aligned uh, the money the growth the designation title whatever has been offered to you you are really good with that whatever feedback is given to you you are agreeing to that now this happens a lot people who do not speak much whenever they are given any kind of feedback they just take it quietly see if you do this the other person who's giving you the feedback 
he or she will assume that you are okay with the feedback plus you are agreeing to whatever they are saying. If they are giving a negative feedback and saying that you did not do this well, that well and things went wrong because of you. And if you take that feed, uh, feedback silently, then this means that you are agreeing to all those blames and you agree that you couldn't perform and all of that stuff. And if that is not the case, my friend, please speak up and try to clarify things then and there only when the feedback is given otherwise you'll be stuck at a place you'll be stuck at a position where nothing is working your way but nobody knows because you never told anyone so the learning and the key points that you should take away from today's videos are that first stop treating yourself as a victim i mean it may sound like that that people do not include you in opportunities they assume things about you all of that stuff which is true to some extent that they are assuming all of that while that may not be the case but you have also not put any effort to showcase anything to display things or skills which will put you on right places at right times so if you really want to have a good growth in any company be it any company please make sure that you speak enough i'm not saying that you become a talking head who's talking all the time those people also not survive for long to be very honest but speak enough do not sit quietly all the time try to give feedback and try to give your views before somebody ask about it if you are sitting on a round table there are 12 people in the room and when everybody is finished done giving their reviews your manager every single time your manager has to ask you that if you have any view do not be that person because your manager will ask once twice after that he or she will also stop doing that because how many times they can do that so be vocal be vocal and speak enough enough which is required for your growth because ultimately we all are working towards more growth to get more money to be well settled and if your behavior your nature is not aligned with the growth that you expect then there is some problem there is some gap that needs to be filled do not feel that you lack something or you it is something that you cannot do you can absolutely do it's a skill like any other skill like how you learned to program or or how you learn to be good at your job like any other skills this is also a skill and you can totally develop it if you practice on it. This is the most important skill that you need to survive in your 9 to 5 or in fact in any job, in any business. Because if you do not speak, rest of your skills are of no good and stop treating yourself as a victim of your nature. You have absolutely all the power to change things by simply working on the skill because it's like a muscle. The more you work on the skills, the more it will get developed over time. So guys, let's take a quick look on the summary of today's video. Take a close look and make sure that you do not fall into any of these situations. And if you feel that you can be a victim to any of these situations, start working from today only. So with that, I'm signing off. You keep on watching more content on the Corporate Diaries to be corporate ready. And I'll see you in my next video. Till then, stay safe and healthy. Take care.